Hello and welcome to the final episode of the Provo Bachelor. How far we have come. They said we couldn't do it, we said we couldn't do it, and here we fucking are. We recently got a comment that we come off as really arrogant and snooty on our channel, so we thought we would lean into that identity. Cheers. May we forget this. This <laughs> actually said that I came across as arrogant and snooty. Is that the one you're talking about? I don't. It's a guy who's just like constantly like okay. just shotguns into the mist. Like he doesn't care what's sticking. He just wants attention. <laughs> as all it. trolls do. <laughs> yeah. Relatable. All right, let's do this. Hey there. I know we've had a lot of fun this season but we just want to take a moment right now to remember those that we've lost while filming. In the arms of the a copyrighted song right out the gate. <laughs> Fun fact, I once went to the X Factor UK auditions and auditioned with this song. <laughs> it was as shit as you are thinking it was. Didn't even get past the first producer what round. What happened to that confidence? Is that when- I know, unabashed. <laughs> it was true 16 year old naivety. Some of which I would love to have back. Yeah, truly. <laughs> but now I'm on YouTube. Those who can't sing. Teach, and those who can't teach do YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which one's that? <laughs> Sarah. That's the one I always think is Kate. Left for a mission. No one remembers or cares. Does her shirt say vote for Napoleon or whatever? How do. Who was Maddie? When did that. When the did one that come week, out? Yeah, week one. So they had a two. boyfriend the whole time, but oh. like that wasn't even addressed for a split <laughs> second, was it? No, they didn't even have an interview with her. <laughs> what well, wasn't even important enough? <laughs> two finger salute for our friend. Oh, okay. Well, is it just me or did he seem even more deflated than us? Remington deflated. didn't even do a real montage. No, nothing. Wow. He phoned it in on the last montage. He's tired, folks. We're all tired. Yeah. We're like the pioneers. We've crossed like winter's quarters and we're just like trying to get to the Salt Lake Valley. No one's given us any jerky in no. weeks. We haven't seen a three knee fight in months. <laughs> And for the last time, Ford! Oh, by the way, who do you want to win? I mean, I want Annalie to win, obviously. I feel like Annalie is going to win. But then I also kind of don't want her to win because I feel like she's better than Colin. But then I know that Colin isn't good enough for Eleanor. Like, what Eleanor wants is not Colin. I don't know if any of them are what any of them want. Yeah. I'm pretty excited, but she wanted me to meet her friend. I don't know how many friends or like who they are, but it's probably gonna be pretty low key, but it'll be fun. He said it's gonna be low key, knowing it wouldn't be low key. This girl is like she's Kappa <laughs> Delta Gamma president. Pro rollerblade. Yeah, we've seen her on rollerblades. That girl attracts friends. Th we'll fucking throw a log in your face. It's she's not nothing about her says low key. I think I get along with along well with Annalise, so hopefully things are just pretty smooth tonight. Hopefully we can talk, figure things out, like where we want to go with this relationship. Um, should be pretty fun. I'm excited. Yeah, nothing's funner than a DTR. <laughs> He looked kind of dead behind the eyes when he said that. You know, and some people give you just like fish eyes. Yeah. Like, this is what I'm supposed to say because we're still doing this thing. Yeah. Story of I every think woman's he's, life. I think he's burned out. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone who touches the Provo Bachelor, yeah. <laughs> they all die within months. Legend has it. <laughs> Remington's still yeah. out there. And he'll kill again. <laughs> <laughs> Great, just what we needed. Another of room full of course. people cheering for Colin. The crowd was diminishing, so they're like, how do we get, we need to really need to pump him up. <laughs> Let's get a whole room. Hi, Colin. How are you doing? I want to introduce my friend. Then in the next scene, he meets Eleanor's friends and they're all in England, so she just has nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I take no pleasure in reporting this like that. He's on the campaign trail here, walking down the aisle, shaking everyone's hand. He's gonna kiss a baby down there. <laughs> I get like anxiety thinking about Mormon social interactions. I know. Like no music, a hollow room full of hollow people. So bad, just a yeah, room just... full of hollow people. Just like gonna... horny ass virgins. Horny ass virgins. <laughs> just... that we should write a song called Horny Ass Virgins. <laughs> <laughs> on Patreon to make it happen. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello. 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 Hello.
that you get a bunch of people being like, hey, if you show up to this event, you'll be on TV. Remember how much shit they tried to get you to do at BYU Idaho for like a slice of Little Caesars pizza? Oh, yeah. They were always trying to get you to go to like two hour forums and stuff for someone's major, and they'd be like, pizza will be provided. Walk through a dark maze while people hit you with clubs. <laughs> two hours, one slice. So I wasn't expecting it. But, I mean, they're all really cool people, I can already tell, so, and they're all here for Annalise, so it's cool. He's such a good judge of character. <laughs> they're just like me, <laughs> good people. <laughs> <laughs> There's at least two people with questionable sexuality, though. Oh, that's absolutely, absolutely. Well, like, there's some people with some awakenings yet to come. This is my first one-on-one -on -one date with Colin, and I'm super excited. Me and Colin work really well together. Okay, she said it's her first one-on-one -on -one date, but they, she said last episode they've been to several, con a couple of concerts together. And she was like, the rumors are true, we do hang out outside of the show. Also, to what one-on-one -on -one date do you bring all your friends? AKA everybody who lives in Helaman Halls or well, whatever. <laughs> just the fact that like, she's the only girl he's dating on the date. It's not about the one-on-one -on -one time <laughs> per se, it's like a, more yeah, of a concept. Yeah, yeah, alright. <laughs> how are we doing guys? Good, how are you? Alright, there we go, this is- <laughs> Bizarro Remington! <laughs> <laughs> Remington Shadow Self. <laughs> Menu. My name is Red. I'll be your guys' server. Can I get to start with some drinks? Is his name actually Red? No, every red person goes by Red. Grow up. There we go. Ooh. Two waters. I <laughs> biscuit squeeze. Oh, they're drinking mocktails. That's so sad. Ow, oh, it's even got the little salt lick. Oh, I feel sad. <laughs> I'm bummed out. I'm already <laughs> six minutes in. <laughs> I'm actually having a really good time with her. She's really fun to hang out with. I think we get along really well. You said that! Uh, we have similar personalities, I think, in that, in that part. You don't have similar personalities! <laughs> Not at all! God, just based on like Mormon Provo freshman standards, you have similar personalities. And She's that, way different! And he's not gonna get on and shit talk these girls, so he just yeah. says the same thing regardless of how he feels about them or not. We, we it's no indication really of well. what's actually happening. So I heard that you live with your grandparents. Are your parents around too? Or? Um, so my mom moved here from the Philippines. She was 18. Uh, okay. Her and my dad got married and they had me. And a little bit into their marriage when I was younger, they got a divorce. And while they were trying to figure out custody, like where I was going to be and when, they both were working full time, like two jobs. So they decided that my grandma would take care of me for a couple months while they figured everything out. So everyone talks about, every time someone talks about figuring out custody, I'm like, wow, I wish my parents had fought over me. <laughs> it was like, who's fighting not to get me? I got custody of me when I was around 10 or 11. Damn, so her grandparents got custody of her when she was 10 or 11. It's a big deal. My grandma is actually the only other member of the church, so she uh, okay. was able to raise me in the church, which I'm so that's awesome. grateful that's, for. That's really cool. So not Mormon, and she's grateful because she was raised Mormon. This is real. We did get to talk about my family, which is a very, not touchy. Colin loves talking about family. It's his favorite thing to talk about. If Eleanor doesn't bring up on her date, she's toast. Yeah, I'm gone. <laughs> Sorry, she's crumpets. My parents are divorced, kind of like yours, um, but it hasn't been too bad for me because they, my parents live in the same city, so I always see them. Um, actually, my parents work together. So awesome. yeah, my mom and my dad pretty much have the same job. They're both professors. Um, they work at a community college. What do they teach? They teach political science. That's so cool. That's intense, having oh. to work at the same community college as your um, former spouse. spouse. Yeah. My mom's also a con convert too, like kind of like your grandma. She, uh, she talked with the missionaries one day when she was 17 and then got baptized a few months later. When she was 17, they all convert late teens, just like the data says with all Heidemann religions and cults. And now here Colin is, the Provo Bachelor. <laughs> it's a devastating story. <laughs> Alright guys, here we go. Pass that down for me. Those hot wings. Hot wings on a date? Brave. It's just, maybe that's why he's never had a girlfriend. <laughs> Anna looks so much fun. She's just, she's not afraid to be herself, which I really like. She, she's like so like energetic. She's super excited about everything. Unnecessary. None of this seems excited or energetic. Is this seems me? so I boring. Decided? This seems so boring. I think just like when your hormones are raging, like anything can be fun. Like if you have a crush on someone. All right. This actually looks fun. Student athlete. They just want to do it. What right. is that? It's what is like, this tiny little ball? I think they're doing bowls rather than bowling. There's a thing called bowls instead of bowling? Yeah, it's people 
like posh people in England will play it, I think. But it's usually on a lawn. So I'm confused. Well, maybe so. Colin just has massive hands. <laughs> He's an enormous person. This has been a show about giants. <laughs> the big reveal. <laughs> I go. It seems like bowling, but harder, which is a really dumb idea. I'm trying to make bowling easier. I'm not about putting up the guard thing. I don't give a shit. <laughs> make bowling fun again. Yeah. Never fun. <laughs> This whole process is just insane because I know where me and Colin stand, but I don't know where Colin and Elena stand. So, of course, there's a part of me. Probably a Book of Mormon yeah, distance apart. I had a lot of fun tonight. Hopefully, he feels the same way, but I really enjoyed it. Forward. Elena and Emily are like super different, which is kind of interesting. Emily is really fun to hang out with, and Ella, it's not that Elena's not. But it probably is like that, isn't it? <laughs> Serious, hyper Mormon. Grew up wrapped in cotton wool in England. Again, really Mormon. I look to Elena to like for different things, you know? I think Elena has a lot of uh, qualities that maybe Emily doesn't. Name one. I think Elena has like... The accent. I don't know, they're just so different. <laughs> you have not said one thing that's like positively distinguishing them. You've just said that like, Adelie's really fun. And it's not that Elena's not fun. She's just different. She has different qualities. Can't think of what they are at this moment, but different. Different. Different, different very strokes. different. I wouldn't say I have a better chance than Elena. I do feel like me and Colin know each other a little bit better than they do. But Elena is literally an angel. She's the salt of the earth and... Salt of the earth. There we go. It's all... Oh, oh. The minute I saw Elena, I knew this was who she was. <laughs> the salt of the earth. Elena obviously impressed me the first night. She got the first impression rose. Um, that still like, stays the same, you know, I think she's a great girl, I'm super happy that she's on the show. Elena, I could, I could have easily seen Elena like taking the whole thing. Unless they're doing like a twist around thing here where like they always do this in The Real Bachelor where, where they like deliberately mislead you into thinking it's the other person and it's always the person you think it's not going to be like every time I wish they'd stop doing that. Mm. I'm like, he's really not saying much that makes me think he's going to be with Elena. Yeah. And we have seen nothing between them really, have we? Yeah, no, he seems like he's... Trying to be very polite. Yeah. But probably. Like Eleanor. At least intuitively knows. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably also like, this is my one chance to like make out with a British girl. So there's a part of him that's probably yeah, like. Oh, yeah. You know? It's hard to that figure out. That only comes but once in a lifetime. <laughs> Annalie, you know, I wasn't really sure the first night. Like, she did make a good impression the first night. Like, uh, I remember that bruise. I remember she, she actually did trip into me. So I felt that. Uh, I remember her falling. I think I really like the way it's I like the way it's turned out. I really like Ellen and Annalie, so I'm super happy with everything that's been going on uh, between them. It's gonna be a hard choice though to choose between them. Is it? I really don't know who's what's gonna happen. Don't you? He may not. I'm on my way to pick up Elena for our date. Sometimes it's a mystery. I'm supposed to be meeting her sister. I'm actually pretty nervous. That's like the only person she has to meet is her sister. What yeah. about a room full of sisters? <laughs> <laughs> Sisters or friends. It should be pretty nice. Hopefully she takes it easy on me. Uh, but it'll be fun. Is there a single Mormon girl's door that has not been love bombed <laughs> with post-it notes? Like think of a new thing. Hey, hey how's how are you doing? doing? Good. How are you? Did you want to come in? Sorry. Sure. She's so awkward and I relate. <laughs> Do you want to meet Sophia? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're in for a treat. She is great. Thanks, sorry. Hey. You must be, sorry, what's your name? I'm Colin. Colin, okay. What's your name? Are you Sophia? I'm right? Sophia. You is this a joke? Like, is Sophia she... is my favorite character okay. that has come on the Bravo Bachelor this entire time. This is authentically <laughs> Sophia wearing a hopefully faux cheetah print coat and carrying a tiny dog. With sunglasses inside. The I love her. The best of Britain. <laughs> Sure. No, I love her. I think there is a chance it's not okay. We stand Sophia. Sophia! <laughs> so speak to you, whatever works. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can come in if you want. <laughs> oh, Sophia is a queen. <laughs> she is my new friend. I can only assume yours. Yes, of course. <laughs> Ooh, pictures of the temple on the wall. Yeah, hi Megan, how are you doing? Sorry, this is just Megan Markle. Oh, right. uh, it's All a character. Right. We hate Stop her. Off. We hate you. <laughs> Did you get that coat from Topshop? Tell me, I might get it. <laughs> I have. Hang on. <laughs> hang on. You're going to get your leather, your leopard robe. They've seen it in the vlogs. Why didn't Ellen 
going to do this character from the beginning Ooh. of the show, wear that for the rest of the video. Yeah, Fabulous. of course. Sometimes you have to be your own Sophia when yeah. the real Sophia lets you down. Be the Sophia you <laughs> wish was real in the world. <laughs> you obviously like my sister, I'm hoping. Yeah. So, as her older sister, <clears throat> I have a few important questions for you. First one being, um, why, why do you think you can even date my sister? Okay, I really do want to get to know Sophia, because even if it is, this is an act, I'm like, there's a sense of humour there that I don't see in Eleanor. Um, I mean, your, your sister's a very nice girl. Uh, what I, is this whole thing? Was this set up by Remington or by Eleanor? Probably Remington. Yes. Mixed with Sophie. They probably were all in a group chat or something. Yeah. You know how it be. At, at first I was kind of scared, so I don't really know what my first, like, what she thought of me at first. Um, hopefully it's pretty good. Based on what we've seen, nothing except you saying, <laughs> Eleanor's a really nice girl. <laughs> like, you think she like you hope she likes you based on that? Um, yeah, really important question that I think would be good to ask, especially on like a first date. Um, how much money do you think you can make in, in a year? Just like right now? Um, in three years time, once you've graduated three college, years. how much, what's the goal? Uh, Helena is just dying with the whole situation. It's even hard to put on an act like this. It's throwing off all her sense of honesty and self. <laughs> <laughs> so I had no idea that Sophia was going to go that far out. I would never normally endorse this kind of loud laughter quality. It's inauthentic. She definitely played a character, um, and I think it just shows her personality, honestly. So Eleanor's the less fun sister, is what we just said Eleanor's the serious sister. I'm just messing, Colin. This is all just a joke. Okay. Oh, I do have wait. some uh, some real questions I want to ask you. It may be a joke for you. Some of us, it's real life, Sophia. Every goddamn day, no stopping. And wait, are you, oh. are you serious though? Like... Yeah, this is this is serious now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is, uh, that was just a, that was just a little bizarre, but I thought. I wanted to spice up the show a bit, didn't I? I don't blame you, Sophia. Ah, Sophia, thank you. Maybe she really is the Sophia we needed all along the way. Yes. I was pretty intimidated. <laughs> but actually, she seems really cool. She seems really nice. Um, I'm excited to get to know her more. <laughs> he is not. He's like, she's going to be pulling pranks on me, and I can't even tell what's real anymore, and I don't like not knowing when things are real. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it feel kind of... <laughs> On my mission, I saw a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> but we blessed it and it left. <laughs> I bet he's only told Annalie that story. <laughs> oh, I bet. She's super nice. And nice isn't always a virtue. No, she's probably just a people pleaser. Also, look at their body language. Yeah. She is so anxious and he yeah. is like not trying to like break the touch barrier at all. Whereas, like, with Annalie, yeah. he obviously is. Obviously, Annalie's gonna win. If this show is a grain of integrity. <laughs> Which? I think she's there for the right reasons, you know what I'm saying? She is. She I, is. I, you know. <laughs> I would never be there for the right reasons. I mean, pure old me would never do it for the right reasons. <laughs> I wanted to say, a compliment to him. It's like, he just said she was nice, and she's like... <sighs> <laughs> Okay, like for, for reals, for reals, she's actually on the show for the right reasons. What are the right reasons for being on the promo so this Bachelor? Is, this Didn't is a they trope. screen everyone to be on for the right reasons? This is a trope from the normal Bachelor where a big thing is whether or not people are on the show for the right reasons. Because on the normal Bachelor, obviously it's like an enormous show, so if you have like a Christian pop album or something, like it's an amazing way to get a self yeah. promo, right? So everyone wants to get Instagram famous. But it's absurd because it's the promo Bachelor. But the reason that that's the reason they keep saying that the right reasons is supposed is like they're genuinely interested, interested in, in Colin. Colin. Yeah. So I think that Colin definitely passed the test. Um, Why? I think that Sphere definitely approves. <laughs> you need to get some kind of external invigilator to moderate this test. That was so shit. <laughs> I did a metaphor. He said that was good. <laughs> he he honestly seems like a really nice guy, and he seems very humble and kind, and that's the most important. Not gonna seem like a nice guy in like a filmed like. A five minute intro where you're just like, your sister's really nice. Yeah, any run of the mill narcissist any could do of, it. Yeah. Let alone just like a nice, a classic nice guy from California attending BYU. Banksy! Oh, Banksy is singing a song of sorrow in the bathroom. Why is he so sad? Oh, <laughs> the precious lamb. Oh, he's so cute. 
They like being held standing up, but the minute you sit down... I know, down, they hate it. Uh, I think you would make a great... Boyfriend-in-law. <laughs> Brother-in-law. Addition to the family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you no, you'd be a good addition to the family. Like the most important thing is that you're kind and humble and oh, have a strong you. testimony. Have a strong testimony! You didn't even ask about his testimony. How did you gauge that? Just by looking at the light in his eyes? Because someone saying they have a strong testimony means fuck all. You're just fine, huh? That's so good. Take it back, this horse is my favorite character introduced on The Provo Bachelor. He looks so sad. Yeah, I bet, because he's been psychologically broken down so humans can ride him! Hi guys, welcome to Bridal Ranch. You guys ready to ride a horse tonight? I guess so. Uh, <laughs> the only riding you'll be doing for a long time. I have my worries coming into this date just because I... She's oh, very peak British. <laughs> she is. Oh god, this doesn't do her justice because this is like, you know, your... Utah farmhand kind of thing, but like I can totally see her in the red coat, yep. the velvet hat, the tan pants, knee-high boots, like she is a British horse girl. Yeah, like she is privileged. She is literally <laughs> horse girl. I wouldn't want to win by default, like with Kate telling Colin like to pick me and as well as so many girls dropping out and like secretly... Okay, that, that look, that, did you see that like split second look when she was like, it was like a sympathetic like I understand, you know what I mean? There was yeah. like, she has so much empathy for Kate, but she was like cringing about it. And I feel like she is on this for the right reasons in that I think she has allowed herself to actually like really? have spiritual hope in her relationship no, with No, no, I, I haven't so. even considered that. I think she actually is, because the way she said that, it oh. betrayed some emotional weight behind oh, this. God. In a way that no. other Annalee was like, no, you're not gonna give me the time of day, I'm gone. Oh, she's I can't like, bear she this. Wants it. She wants it. She wants a relationship. I don't want to win by default. Oh. She probably just wants the chance to like date Colin. Yeah. You know, like I don't think she's like thinking he's the one. But no, I think yeah, she, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. no, this is so sad. Okay. I've never been horseback riding. Um, it's gonna be quite an experience, I think. I'm definitely very terrified of them right now. Uh, but we're gonna see how it goes. I think either way, it'll be a fun experience. This whole thing just feels so sad. I know, I know. Are you crying? No. Oh. I wish. I could use an emotional release right now. <laughs> Did she wear white shoes? She's like, my new trainers! <laughs> that horse seems so mangy and sad. Look, all those horses, their spirits are broken. It's so sad. Oh. Let my people go. Okay. It's so, oh God. I can't let myself like dwell on that side of things. Like, yeah. There's enough going on for me to start thinking about the oh. horse riding shit. And I know we're gonna get fucking comments being like, meh, 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 it's fine. Yeah, I mean, it's always fun being around Elena, especially in something like this. I think it'll be good to see like how she reacts to it, like how things go. Okay, a classic thing with The Bachelor is being obsessed with like seeing how people react, like as a way to like judge them. I just hate it. Like <laughs> seeing how this girl's going, like he said it in the Get Out Games episode too, where it's like, see how the girls yeah. react. I told her I murdered her family. <laughs> See how yeah, she goes with it. <laughs> His name is Karina. Sorry, that one's Angel. Angel and Chris. Oh, oh, I know this. I know this energy. It's like every missionary who's exhausted of being a missionary, but who's like, I represent the Lord, so I'm gonna do this. And he's like, What's the name of the horse? <laughs> this, this is a good ride. Yeah, this is fun. She's a good girl. I can tell. But he's like dead. He doesn't have any vibrancy. This isn't. But have you noticed? <laughs> Wellington! Oh my god, look at him lurking in the background. Constantly. Oh, uh, that bitch. <laughs> he like appears on screen in the front as well. <laughs> Riding a horse with red eyes. <laughs> uh, they actually kind of scare me just because they're so big. I think they're really cool animals. I just. Being around them just kind of scares me. If you don't make your peace with horses, they're coming for you in the yes, revolution. Yeah, seriously, I've, I've no made my peace with the horses. <laughs> it needs to be like a respectful kind of fear, <laughs> not a riding them kind of fear. <laughs> the poor horses. This is not natural for them to just be standing there while someone's on them. This is so sad. 
Same thing with riding elephants. I just listened to a podcast yep. recently. Yep. It's horrible the things that they do to elephants yep. to get humans to be able to ride on them. If you go to Bali, <laughs> do so not ride the elephant. Don't ride it's any... Like, it's contributing. Do not ride animals. Don't ride an animal! Ride a cowboy, not a horse. I think she's kind of struggling. <laughs> What? We're all struggling. Oh, I'm just kidding. I was just kidding, Anna, right? Uh, no, I think she's, she seems to be having... I, I like, no, okay, he's reacting to her the way that boys at BYU Line would react to me. Here's what's going on. He can like sense that she's like, I mean, I'm obviously not super serious, but I was super serious about the gospel and stuff and like still British and mm -hmm. more British than I am right now. Um, he like doesn't fully like get her or like know what to make of her. So when she was like, hey, I'm right here. She's just joking. She doesn't care that he's saying she's struggling. But he's like not fully sure that it's mm -hmm. okay. So he's like, oh, I'm just joking. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't like get Eleanor. Right. He like doesn't know what to make of her. <laughs> the good news is there's only 17 minutes of the episode left. Thank God. This is like my breakfast first, first semester cookies really, and ice cream. Really? Just cookies and ice cream? Yeah, I think the day has gone really well. I'm just absolutely smitten. Right. No, you're not. Okay. Oh, no. I, I feel like she's telling the truth. I don't she think is. she's no, lying she for is. the show. She is. She's 100% telling I don't think she's lying for the show. I got ah. it. She's feeling, the more and more anxious she gets, the more and more she, yeah, like yeah, into yeah, it she has yeah. to convince herself she is. Oh, I'm devastated. So sad. Yeah, she definitely probably has anxiety and oh, who yeah. can blame her? I mean we all do. Now <laughs> I just like keep like even just ask you asking me about him, like I'm just smiling already, like I'm just beaming. Let's remember she's met very few even remotely eligible Mormon men in her life. <laughs> so do you know what you're studying yet? Uh, I do. Hopefully advertising. Ah! Is she your like weird mystic Gemini twin? Yes! Oh my god, if she's a Gemini. It means something. Advertising, British, blonde brunette, one of you must die at the hand of the other. Okay, so like, okay. what do you see yourself doing with advertising? Well, advertising, <laughs> Colin. <laughs> <laughs> Working for the church. <laughs> That's literally what I said. Like, it's funny because we always like roast Colin. Like, he's not eligible at all, but I could totally imagine like my freshman year at BYU Idaho. I think Colin was so cute and great, and like, mm. I'd want him to. Pick me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like the idea that you can, like, use psychology to sell something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's okay, the worst that's... part about advertising. That's yeah, why but I, I like... get it. Like, that's how I feel, no, too. No, I get it, like, too. It's, but it's like the dark arts, you know what I mean? Well, it can be used for bad or good, yeah. Yeah, uh, I guess. I guess that's what we're doing here. But, uh, but that's the thing is you realize, oh, like, that's what everyone is doing is just, like, Selling shit that people don't need. Yeah, more shit but it's like advertising need. isn't good or bad. It's no. like it has the power to do so much good. Like, and it funds this. No, and I used to, when I first came to BYU, I really wanted to be an English major. Okay. Me really too! I was originally an English major and then I took a class and was like, this seems horrifying. Holy shit! She's you. Stare into the portal. We hate Games. what we see in ourselves. Mm -hmm. ah! I feel like this series has been more than anything just a, a series of lessons to us. This You're was made so for right. us. <laughs> this Eleanor thing has really been more significant. Like, originally I was just joking around, you know, uh -huh. like, what a bitch, she's British, you know. But, like, last episode, when, like, I don't know. Like, the more time has gone on, the more I've, like, seen both myself and, like, other parts of my experience with Mormonism in England in her. And it's been really strange. Like, more... I didn't expect to get anything out of this. <laughs> you know, I've had the same experience. And you know who my Gemini moon has been? <laughs> Remington. Remington. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, that makes sense to me. You were literally the host of a college game show night. Or like, talk show in your expert. The idea of like using media and like framing it in a way to sell something. No, and, like, it's just appealed to me. It's so. true. My sister actually studied English at BYU. Okay. English she graduated. Like you know, I don't, I'm not sure what the like the degree is, but yeah. it's in English, and like she like can identify themes and like different things that's like, so like nothing. Oh, she can identify themes. That is so cool, Colin. That's amazing. I've themes? literally never identified a theme. I love themes. <laughs> Would love to identify one someday. <laughs> Question: Do you think he's prayed about this? Yeah. I bet he has. <laughs> this is kind of a unique situation for a Mormon boy because I feel like. 
the level that he's at with Anna Lee, they'd normally be exclusively dating, mm -hmm. is the perception I've got. So I feel like he's probably feeling weird because he knows that him and Anna Lee like, actually have like a legit relationship, but he's mm -hmm. so charmed by Eleanor. I know that you were planning on going home to California over summer, right? Right. So I'm staying here in Provo and um, it's just kind of hard for me to invest in something when like I know it might not work out. So. Hey, you literally just talk on the phone for a summer and if you're like, it's so <laughs> Mormon to be that worried about such a short period of time. Because she's like, well, I want to keep dating while you're gone because I can't afford to skip a moment. <laughs> That's why I never like, I mean, I also didn't have the money to study abroad, but I was always justified it by being like, I couldn't, I wouldn't no, find a I life abroad. No, I kind of felt like that too. I was like, it's a wasted semester. Yep. Yeah. Green cards running out, Colin. Tick tock. You know, I've actually been meaning to talk to you about this. Okay. I, yeah, I've been thinking about it because I am planning on going home for spring and summer. Mm -hmm. um, that's a hard question, you know? I obviously, like, I really like hanging out with you, you know, yeah. this has been great. Um, but, yeah, I might just go home. The way that he was like, I've actually been meaning to talk to you about this, he said, like, like, he was, like, tying him going home with her, whereas it's like, well, that would be true for either of the girls, so right. it, like, doesn't really, like, make a difference. Right. Because either way, he's going to be apart from them and, well, like, he will could, have to do long distance. He could also be feeling like, he, like, for instance, with Annalie, he could be thinking, oh, this has been so fun, like, she's super cool, but I bet he's been getting a lot of attention since doing the Provo Bachelor, yeah. and he's realizing that there's an even bigger pool than he imagined within The Bachelor. Ooh. And also... It's it's just Well, physics, we, don't, we don't know how close to the end of the semester this was filmed. Like, he might be, like, planting this out seed now and thinking, like, I'd love to spend the next three or four weeks, like, dating Annalie more seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so sad! Ah! Are you like are you planning on visiting for a or I could visit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I yeah, I could visit. I could call every other weekend, darling, but we'll see what happens. Oh god. I'm like, why does he have the power in this situation? She's oh if she could just realise that Mormonism is bullshit. Yeah. Come be my roommate. <laughs> Seriously, we're looking for a third roommate, Ellen, I'd love to have you. Or Sophia uh, if she's sooner, closer to leaving Mormonism than you. <laughs> Uh, I'm here for the right reasons, I'm interested in Colin, and I'm just glad that we had this opportunity to meet each other, and um, if he wants to be my boyfriend, I would absolutely love that. This is the worst thing I've cared about in years, I hate this. Annalie has the best chance of winning than me. Um, I know that she is just absolutely, she's just so hilarious. And I know that they spend like a lot of time with each other like off camera. Um, and yeah, I, I've been hearing some stuff about them too. Oh, I know no, it's true she's not, probably but... heard that they've kissed and it's devastated her. And team women's have feelings too. <laughs> Apparently they kissed off camera. Knew it. show it's like you expect them all to be kissing but she's so pure she like can't handle this no, she, she is can't. not built for this oh. it is like irresponsible that she's on this <laughs> show i i don't know i'm trying not to judge either way like if they want to kiss that's fine oh god i am so upset this is like 12 more minutes oh no i can't watch i get rejected no we're about to step I into the can't. castle oh the castle of terrors uh, it's just such a big night. I never thought it would come. I didn't even know I would make it this far. So it's honestly kind of surreal. Definitely more nervous than I expected. Uh, I'm like low-key wetting myself in the back seat. <laughs> I don't want to jinx anything by saying where I think I stand because last time it happened, the Crandall scandal went down. But I feel like me and Colin have a great relationship and I feel like I'm very confident where I stand with him. In that, he's probably told her he's going to pick her. You know, it's not like The Real Bachelor where like the show keeps them apart. Like, mm. they're not, there's no way you're going to keep that. Like, what incentive does Colin have to keep that? Unless he legitimately I don't think he said it. I think he's holding his cards a little no, closer No, I bet that. they've been, like, if they've kissed, they're like Mormons, I bet they've been seeing each other like every day. I think she would have, she, her attitude would be a little bit different if she knew it was in the bag. No, I think she, she's smart. She knows how to work a camera. 
All right. She knows what she needs to say. She's probably watched every season of The Regular Bachelor. <laughs> She's incredible. I love her. <laughs> but I want to protect Eleanor. Yeah. Me and him have more of a foundation than him and Eleanor do because me and Colin do see each other a lot. But that's not to say that Elena isn't the absolute sweetest girl ever, and I am. She's so oh, nice. She'll handle the the, yeah. the, the news so well because she's so nice and so pure. Yeah, but she'll break down off camera. Oh. But like, I love how much Annalie compliments other women. Yeah. She is a true sorority sister. Yeah. Honestly, she's just so great. He can't go wrong with either of us. Both of you can do better. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they just blatantly uh -oh. use a B-roll shot of the mansion that that is like a twilight dusk shot and then they like just pull up in like middle of the day. <laughs> hey man, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good, you. good to see you. So we're here, we made it to the final episode. Yeah. There's only two girls left. Have you made up your mind? I have. It's been one of the hardest decisions of my life. It hasn't! That's just what they all say. The hardest decisions of my life. Tell me about this whole past week. Like, you went on two dates, one with each of them. Mm -hmm. What's been going through your mind this last week? You're last kicked week. off the yeah. island. I found my decision. It was really hard because they're just, they're just so different. And I was like, well, which one do I want? One's fun, one's, one's right not. <laughs> but I got my answer. I, I got, got my answer! Ah, he had to bring about it! Ah! I got my answer. It's not a phrase anyone would use except moments. I got my answer that you received and I, oh, God. Uh, <gasps> You guys know. You guys know. You know what you're gonna say to the girl you're sending home? To Elena? It's gonna be extremely hard. And we'll see what happens, but I think so. This is what Elena's gonna say. She's gonna be like, Okay, well, it's been really lovely meeting you. I think you're a great guy, and thank you for this experience. And I'm sure that Emily's... And Emily's amazing. <laughs> and honestly, you guys are both so lucky for you. She's just gonna say something really nice, and then sob about it to Sophia. So and Sophia's gonna be like, honestly, he wasn't shit. How are you doing? I'm good. Seeing you. <laughs> like, nervous laughs so much. I think I would do well with a nervous laugh. Like, I think what holds me back with my... Social anxiety is not having a nervous laugh. It's a nervous scream. <laughs> <laughs> it's a silent nervous scream. I think the nervous laugh at least like makes you a bit more endearing, mm. <laughs> instead of just like stone cold. Maybe practice one. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start, <laughs> start having a nervous laugh. <laughs> Thanks, Eleanor. You guys had a really cute date. You went horseback riding. Yeah. Ah, oh, ew, Remington, never ceasing to be so creepy. <laughs> do you feel like? Do you think you're gonna win? I've never seen such a human who is, tone, it, like, is a Simpsons character. The tone of him saying, do you think you're going to win? <laughs> yeah, if you did, it's sad. That's really crazy if you do. <laughs> Cute day. <laughs> Cute day, but you don't think you're going to win, right? Like, it's fine. Like, <laughs> Here's the other thing, though. Guys are also going to be coming up to her. Like, she's making a name for herself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you have, like, one YouTube video that does well. <laughs> Suddenly, you're wearing leopard print every day. Okay, well, he's waiting right around the corner for you. So, so much good luck. on his face. Thanks. Oh. I just can't figure out where Colin's head's at. Like, I don't know what he's thinking, what he's feeling. I, I literally don't even know if he's going to pick Annalie or, or me. Um, just going into this completely blind. You have to say that. Whereas Annalie's like, I'm pretty confident in what we have because we make out all the time. <laughs> all right. This past week has been a lot of reflection. He's doing her first, so of course she's getting broken up with right now. Like, that's so obvious. Yeah. On everything that's been going on, personally, with you, with Annalie. <gasps> yeah. Uh, it's she been, looks so good. honestly, one of the hardest no, decision making no, experiences of my life. No, it hasn't. You're just the worst. Um, <gasps> I've been thinking a lot, just. You know, going on dates and seeing how I feel about everything. Mm -hmm. And oh, she knows. I don't want you to feel oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. compared to Emily. Oh, because, of course you are. Because you guys are so different. Yeah. And it's That's not. Right. It's. it's just, this is hard to say. Fucking say it's it. It's not. I, that you're not. It's, fine. it's not she anything. Knows. You're an amazing girl. Absolutely <laughs> amazing. Honestly, That's one of the best girls I've ever met. I think you have a lot of great qualities, amazing qualities. That's really kind. I love hanging around you. Thanks. I think personally... She's trying so hard to take it well. She's trying I to think what hard. I'm looking for right now is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. No! It's because he's being so fucking... Oh, this is fucking like his first time I probably. I know! I'm like just... This is irresponsible to get someone who's never broken Seriously! Oh, like, Eleanor deserves better than this oh, 
wants to, even but that's she, why this... even she with her zero experience is like smart enough to be like, it's fine, it's fine, just fucking say it. Like this oh. is the most like drawn oh, out. Ah. Stop Ooh. it. It's not helping. There's oh. a cultural element of differences in this as well. Yeah. Like it's like to me, it's like rude that he's dragging it out this much and he's not just like bam. I don't think we should be together. And I think. It's just hard because of the nature of the show, you know, it's just... No, I completely understand. Like, I set my expectations low, so don't even okay. worry about it. Oh, like, no, 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 no. And as well, oh, Ali's a great guy, like... It's just, it's just a hard, like, to see... fucking se Oh, I guess he's... Decision making, you know, there's only two girls left. Oh, and it's... it's fine, honestly. I and I just think, I think you're an amazing girl. I really have enjoyed getting to know you better. Yeah. I'm glad we're friends. I hope we can oh, continue this relationship as friends. Yeah. I just don't think it would work out... No, I... ...further than this, you Yeah. Know? I completely get that. Well, thank you for being honest with me. Like, I appreciate you just like <gasps> being vulnerable and telling me how you feel. He isn't vulnerable. Uh, thanks so much. I wish you all the best with Emily. She really is amazing. And just, yeah, don't screw it up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thank you for being understanding too. It's just, it's really hard to say this, honestly. It's and really I hate doing it like, like no. this, you know, like with no. everything. Oh, it's just, honestly, it's fine. Like, I. It's okay. But I'm, just, I prepared I'm super grateful Emily, for everything. Good and for I love getting to know you. Thank you. I That's think really any funny. any other person would be like you to so know well you. <laughs> I'm sure you have people <laughs> lined up at the doors trying Stop. to get to know oh, you. Oh, you're so embarrassing old, yourself. Be nice. No. No. <laughs> but anyways, you have Two a lot of great qualities as well. Two people breaking up now. Hard to watch. <laughs> oh, it's, honestly, don't qualities. even think. We should just. He's still going. A lot of great qualities. I count this any mm -hmm. of them. But you're such a good girl. I've really enjoyed getting to know you. I'm sure that you have many good qualities. Anytime someone says you have many good qualities, I'm like that. Name them one by one. Yeah, exactly. Name them one by. It's honestly really hard for me to say this. Oh, it's honestly don't even don't even stress about it. It's okay. Thank well, you so much. Thank you so much. No worries. Yes, I'll walk you out. Oh, she's devastated. I'm disappointed. Um, I feel like we're pretty similar, like personality-wise. Um, maybe that's why we're too similar. Like we're both kind of shy, I guess. Um, but honestly, him and Annalie, I think they're a great couple, and I've said it from the start. So, uh, if they work out, great. I just, I feel mad at myself for like getting this far and then like being so close. Like she's gonna take it as like she's diminished Achieved. if she doesn't win. I'm mad at myself for getting this far. Like she sees this as an achievement thing. Like everything in her life, like being Mormon, because that's like what being Mormon in England has like set her up for. And the more the British Mormons that go to BYU are like the high achievers. You mm. know what I mean? Like every English Mormon doesn't go to BYU, obviously. It's been tough um, and kind of like emotionally draining. But, um, Emotionally draining. Yeah, just to say that I was on here like is an incredible experience in itself. So, yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't put it oh, on your yeah, resume. That's <laughs> horrifying. Oh hell yeah, short skirt. <laughs> hey, how are you? I'm so shredding up. She knows. Good. So we're on the last episode. How are you feeling right now? It's honestly so surreal. I never thought I would make it this far, but I'm really happy that I did. Are you a little bit nervous? You seem pretty confident, but like, is there a bit of doubt in your mind? There definitely is. I'm super nervous going into tonight because Elena is such a sweet girl and he would be so happy with her, but I know me and him would also have a good time, so. She knows she's winning. She is good at, she's just good at this. She's good at doing this. Well, he's right around the corner waiting for you, so. Go awesome. Right ahead. Hey, it's good to see you. It's good to see you too. Okay. All right, so just so you know, I just talked with Elena and I broke things off with her. Um, she didn't even look phased. She's just like. She's like, of course you did. Yeah, as, you as told was me that discussed. this morning. <laughs> when I woke up in your bed after a <laughs> night of cuddling. <laughs> but I'm honestly so happy that you were the last girl. I love hanging out with you. I think you're the best girl ever. You're so much fun. And I just more, I just want to spend a lot more time with you. Annalie May. Mm -hmm. Ross. He's not, not going to propose. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but, will you be my girlfriend? Yes. What? Yeah. Even though it's too soon. Ah! Oh, will you Whoa. be my girlfriend? Ah! A montage of them hugging? Ah! Not their first time. Oh, poor Eleanor. Well, there you have it, folks. Colin fought his way through the dating jungle of Provo. He did 
and emerged triumphant. anything to get to this point. He made it through the mess of being ghosted, through public humiliation on the internet, and even being left for other guys. But he found love in the end. Will it last? Who knows. But one thing is for sure, it has been one crazy ride. Has it? God. We've appreciated all the love and support from <laughs> And don't worry, there will be more cringe to come. They're doing another fucking season, did you know that? Oh god, we, like, fucking... I, I'm calling it quits, we will, I will not be dragged into another Probe of Bachelor. Okay, no, if enough people support us on Patreon, no, we'll do it. I if can't. enough people support us on Patreon, we will do another season. Guys, support us on Patreon, I will make this happen. I'll take care oh. of this on this end. <laughs> you guys just do your thing. Please, I kind of want to do another one. I don't do the editing, no. so it's fun for me. Stay tuned for season two, where we help three girls find love. And there might be a ring Here too as well. Go. Applications are out on our website, and stay tuned on our social media for more info. And hey, we'll see you inside. What do you mean inside? Inside where? Okay, here's the thing. There's actually an after the finale live Q and A that we're gonna obviously have to respond to for another video. So this is actually the penultimate episode. <laughs> of the Provo Bachelor. Tana's waning. Do you wanna say anything? I'm trying to... I'm thinking about taking a vow of I'm silence writing so for a few years. <laughs> okay, listen, please support us on Patreon. This is a thankless job. <laughs> Especially Besides of all the, the, uh, all the things that, all the we get, that we like get the in the connection. comments. Yeah, we the love reading your comments. We read every single Turns comment, out, obviously. It's really easy and a lot and a really good time and we brought this on ourselves. <laughs> That we did this all to us. Oh wow! So. We've all learned really important lessons through this whole thing. <laughs> okay, well, stay tuned because we're obviously gonna do the live Q and A after the final rose. How could we not? We've we come this far. Hear like that our... sunk cost fallacy at this point. For sure. Um, also, if you're not subscribed to us, please subscribe to us. We are kind of getting close to ten thousand, which is very exciting. Also, if you are subscribed to us, turn on the notification bell because apparently that's a thing. And if you don't, then you probably won't see our videos. Our battery's running out. Classic. Um, we'll see you in the Bachelor Q&A, Yeah. Folks.